For the 1936 film Tarzan Escapes, Johnny Weissmuller was chosen to play Tarzan, the lead role, because of his previous success in the role and his athletic physique, which fit the character perfectly. Maureen O'Sullivan returned as Jane, having already established strong on-screen chemistry with Weissmuller in earlier films. The casting team sought actors who could handle the physical demands of the jungle adventure. Auditions were rigorous, focusing on actors' ability to portray the raw emotion and strength required for the film. Chemistry tests ensured the actors could connect with each other, creating a believable jungle family. Key moments during casting included Weissmuller's screen test, which reaffirmed his suitability for the role, and O'Sullivan's commitment to continue as Jane, providing continuity and familiarity for the audience. In the 1936 movie Tarzan Escapes, the director brought the jungle to life with a clear vision. They used simple yet effective techniques to show the wild and adventurous side of Tarzan's world. The director worked closely with the actors to make sure they could move and act like they were part of the jungle. This meant learning how to swing from vines and mimic animal movements. The crew built sets that looked like a real jungle and the director made sure every scene felt like an adventure. The story was told in a way that made the audience feel the danger and excitement that Tarzan faced every day. The director's style was to keep things exciting and moving fast so people would be on the edge of their seats. They did this by using quick camera moves and making sure the action was non-stop. The director also used music and sound to make the jungle feel alive. The sounds of animals in the jungle were mixed with the music to create a feeling that you were really there. This movie is a great example of how a director can take a well-known story and make it feel fresh and new by using their own style and working well with their team. In the 1936 movie Tarzan Escapes, we follow the adventure of Tarzan as he faces new dangers in the jungle. This film is full of moments that will make you laugh, leave you in shock, and even tug at your heartstrings. As you watch, you might find yourself recalling a scene that sticks with you long after the credits roll. Maybe it's the thrilling escape or the touching moments between characters that stay with you. We're curious to know, have you experienced a moment in Tarzan Escapes that left a lasting impression? or perhaps you have a personal story connected to this classic film. We'd love to hear about your favorite memories or experiences related to Tarzan Escapes in the comments below. Your stories are what make these old movies come alive again for all of us. The 1936 film Tarzan Escapes saw Johnny Weissmuller take on the role of Tarzan in a thrilling adventure. The production faced many challenges, especially with set design and location. Filming in the jungle required careful planning to transport equipment and ensure the safety of the cast and crew. The sets were designed to look like a dense jungle, complete with trees, vines, and waterfalls, all created on a soundstage. This allowed for greater control over lighting and effects. One innovative technique used was the use of miniatures for certain scenes to create the illusion of danger and vastness without putting the actors at risk. The film also employed wire rigging to simulate Tarzan's swinging movements through the trees, which was a significant advancement in special effects at the time. Despite the difficulties, the team's efforts resulted in a movie that thrilled audiences with its depiction of Tarzan's world. In the 1936 film Tarzan Escapes, we follow the journey of Eric Parker and his sister Rita, who travel from England to Africa with the goal of finding their cousin Jane and convincing her to return to civilization to claim a significant inheritance. Jane, who has chosen a life in the jungle and is now living with Tarzan, is initially reluctant to leave. The plot thickens as their safari guide, Captain Fry, harbors ulterior motives to capture Tarzan for display. This film, coming after the enforcement of the Hays Code, features a more modest costume for Jane, yet she remains a charming presence on screen. The narrative revisits the familiar theme of the clash between civilization and the wild, but assures viewers with its title that Tarzan's freedom is never truly at risk. Directed by Richard Thorpe and featuring performances by Johnny Weissmuller and Maureen O'Sullivan, the movie provides another adventure in the lush and perilous environment of the jungle. The music for the film Tarzan Escapes was crafted to fit the adventurous spirit of the story. The composers and musicians aimed to enhance the thrilling scenes and the emotional journey of the characters with their score. The soundtrack helped to set the mood, whether it was a tense chase or a quiet moment of reflection. 
It was important for the music to support the film's setting in the jungle and the bond between Tarzan and Jane. The team worked closely to create themes that would be memorable and stir the hearts of the audience, making the viewing experience more powerful. The score was a key part of the storytelling, adding depth to the visual experience of the movie. In the making of this classic film, the production team reused footage of Murchison Falls from Africa, which was originally filmed for another movie five years earlier. During the shoot, actress Maureen O'Sullivan had a challenging time working with Cheetah, the chimpanzee, and her frustration with the animal was not hidden on set. Tragically, the actors portraying Rollins and Captain Fry met their ends in separate car accidents. Both found lifeless in their vehicles, adding a somber note to the film's history. In the 1936 film Tarzan Escapes, the scene where Tarzan calls out to the animals to save Jane from the tribal village is powerful. The direction here shows Tarzan's strong connection with the jungle. His call, a loud and clear sound, is a signal for help, showing his leadership. The animals respond quickly, showing their trust in him. This moment is filmed with wide shots to show the scale of the jungle and the number of animals coming to help. The actor's performances, especially Johnny Weismuller as Tarzan, are full of energy and urgency. The filmmakers wanted to show Tarzan as a hero who can command the jungle. This scene makes viewers feel excited and amazed at Tarzan's power to communicate with animals and lead them. It's a key moment that shows why Tarzan is the king of the jungle. In the film, a cultural mix-up occurs when Captain Fry incorrectly greets the tribal chief with Jambo Sama instead of the proper Jambo Sana or the more fitting Ujambo. The portrayal of African wildlife also includes inaccuracies, such as elephants with oversized prosthetic ears and rubber tusks that bend easily. These details highlight a lack of authenticity in the film's representation of African elements. Additionally, Johnny Weismuller, who plays the lead role, is known for his distinctive Tarzan yell, a skill he developed from a young age. This unique call became a signature element of his character and is remembered as one of the classic sounds of early cinema. The 1936 film Tarzan Escapes had a significant effect on audiences and popular culture. It showed the adventure of a man raised in the jungle, which was a new and exciting idea at the time. The character of Tarzan became very popular, leading to more movies, books, and merchandise. This film also made people think about nature and the importance of respecting other cultures. It showed the jungle as a place of wonder and danger, which made people curious about the world. The movie also had a strong hero who was kind and brave, which was a good example for people to follow. Overall, the film was a big success and made people interested in stories about adventure and exploring new places. In the world of early Hollywood, personal lives often became as talked about as the films themselves. Johnny Weissmuller, known for his role in the Jungle Adventure series, faced tumultuous times off-screen. His marriage to Lupe Velez was marred by publicized disputes and physical altercations, leading to a tragic exchange where personal pets became casualties of their conflicts. The film itself reused many scenes from its predecessors, creating a sense of deja vu for audiences with familiar landscapes and action sequences. This recycling of content was a common practice at the time, aimed at maximizing the use of existing footage to tell new stories. As the production wrapped up, a new union formed away from the on-screen drama. Maureen O'Sullivan, the film's leading lady, found love with director John Farrow, and their marriage marked a happy conclusion to the film's creation. Their partnership was one of the few serene chapters in an otherwise stormy narrative surrounding the film's production and its star's lives. The 1936 film Tarzan Escapes received mixed reviews upon its release. Critics praised Johnny Weissmuller's performance as Tarzan and the thrilling action sequences. However, some found the plot to be less engaging compared to earlier films in the series. Audience reactions were generally positive, with many enjoying the adventure and the chemistry between Weissmuller and Maureen O'Sullivan, who played Jane. The film did not receive any major awards or nominations, but it was successful at the box office. The success of the film helped to solidify the careers of its stars and ensured the continuation of the Tarzan series, which was significant for everyone involved in the production. In the early days of cinema, animals were often given unique credits, and in this film, the chimpanzee known as Cheetah received the singular honor of being credited by herself. This acknowledgement reflects the significant role animals played in classic films. 
Maureen O'Sullivan, who starred in the film, is immortalized with an animatronic figure in a theme park attraction, showcasing the enduring appeal of the movie's characters. The figure, once part of the great movie ride, now entertains guests in a different context, proving the timeless nature of these cinematic icons. Johnny Weismuller, the actor famed for his portrayal of the jungle hero, had a memorable first encounter with a chimpanzee co-star. Demonstrating his quick thinking and assertiveness, Weismuller established a rapport with the animal that lasted throughout their time working together. This bond between actor and animal highlights the unique challenges and relationships formed on classic film sets. During the filming of Tarzan Escapes, Johnny Weismuller, who played Tarzan, faced real danger when performing stunts. In one scene, he had to swim in a lake that was known to have crocodiles. The crew had to ensure his safety by keeping the animals away. Maureen O'Sullivan, who portrayed Jane, had her own challenges with the jungle set. It was made to look real with live plants and trees, but this attracted all sorts of insects and animals, making it difficult for her to focus on her performance. The director, Richard Thorpe, wanted the film to feel authentic, so he often shot scenes in one take, adding to the pressure on the cast to get it right. Despite these challenges, the team worked together to create a movie that thrilled audiences with its adventure and on-screen chemistry between Tarzan and Jane. In the jungle adventure that thrilled audiences, changes in wardrobe marked a shift towards modesty as Jane's revealing two-piece was replaced with a single-piece costume. Tragically, John Buckler, who portrayed Captain John Fry, passed away in a car accident just a week before the film's release, never witnessing the final cut. Adding to the suspense, the hero Tarzan is absent from the screen for the first 23 minutes, a nod to his late entrance in the preceding film. The 1936 film Tarzan Escapes holds a special place in the history of cinema. It was one of the early movies that showed the wild adventures of Tarzan, a character created by Edgar Rice Burroughs. This movie helped shape the way jungle adventure films were made. It set a standard for action, an adventure with thrilling scenes and a strong hero. The character of Tarzan became very popular and led to many more movies and TV shows. The film also influenced how filmmakers used the jungle setting, making it a place full of mystery and adventure. The success of Tarzan Escapes showed that audiences enjoyed stories about nature and the wild, which encouraged more films like it. Johnny Weissmuller, known for his role in the Tarzan films, left a unique mark. His famous Tarzan yell echoed one last time at his funeral. Language played a curious role in these films, with Swahili phrases like Kuja Hapa often heard though not always used correctly. For instance, Kuja Quinda amusingly combines commands to come and go. Maureen O'Sullivan, who starred alongside Weissmuller, had a distinguished career with several of her films, including an earlier Tarzan movie, being preserved for their cultural and historical importance. In the history of cinema, Johnny Weissmuller is noted for being the first to voice the character of Tarzan. His passing in January 1984 marked the end of an era as he died shortly after James Pierce, the last of the silent Tarzan actors. Weissmuller's unique contribution to film includes his limey Tarzan, Eugene in the movie The Finks, a rare spoken moment for his portrayal of the jungle hero. The production of the film he is most associated with saw significant changes, particularly in its direction and crew. James C. McKay, known for his intense filming style, was replaced by John Farrow, leading to a complete overhaul of the film. This shift brought new faces to the cast and crew, with Herbert Munden joining the team and Darby Jones taking on the role of Bamba. Behind the scenes, art and special effects saw new leadership, ensuring the film's visual appeal matched its adventurous spirit. In the adventurous world of Tarzan, the jungle hero and his partner Jane have made remarkable upgrades to their treetop abode. Their home now boasts modern comforts like running water, and a unique elevator operated by an elephant to lift visitors into their lofty retreat. This innovation reflects the clever use of resources and the deep bond between Tarzan and the animals. Johnny Weissmuller, the actor famed for his portrayal of Tarzan, once found himself in a perilous situation during the Cuban Revolution. While golfing, he was cornered by soldiers loyal to Fidel Castro. In a moment of quick thinking, Weissmuller let out the iconic Tarzan yell, which the soldiers recognized. Their admiration for the character turned a dangerous encounter into a friendly meeting, and Weismuller was safely escorted and honored with a token of appreciation. 
Interestingly, in this film, the title character makes his first appearance well into the story, allowing the narrative to build anticipation and focus on other elements before bringing the famed jungle hero onto the screen. This delay adds to the film's dynamic, showcasing other characters and settings before Tarzan's grand entrance. In the adventure film set in the jungles, the close-up shots of the Haman tribesmen feature real Maasai actors. This choice added authenticity to the portrayal of the tribe, showcasing the Maasai's distinct appearance and cultural attire. The production's decision to cast actual members of the Maasai community helped bring a level of realism to the scenes involving the tribe, contrasting with the fictional elements of the story. In the making of this adventure film, the production faced a tragic setback when one of the crew members was fatally injured on set. This incident cast a shadow over the team and is a reminder of the risks involved in filmmaking, even during the early days of cinema. The loss was deeply felt by the cast and crew who had to continue their work in the face of this sorrowful event. If you have watched the 1936 film Tarzan Escapes, we would love to hear how it touched your life or changed the way you see movies. Your stories and memories are valuable, and sharing them can bring us all closer to the magic of old films. So please tell us your story in the comments, hit the like button if you enjoy our content, and do not forget to share with friends and family. Your support means a lot, and if you want to see more about the wonderful world of cinema, make sure to subscribe. Let's keep the conversation going, and the memories alive.